Hey, hey, what's going on, Games of the Empire? Welcome back to another Anime Dimensions video. Alright, intro done. Okay, so in this video, as you can see, we are playing Anime Dimensions again. And an update dropped um, like yesterday. So, obviously, you know, your emperor, he gotta make another video about it. So, um, I could have done this yesterday, but, um, due to multiple reasons, I couldn't. Oh, Raid's about to open, um, that's good. <laughs> so, um, we have the Raid Shop, they added Naruto, six packs. I tested them, I tested them out in, um, I tested them out in the thing, like, character testing place. He's a pretty good character, um. So I feel that I'm gonna grind for him, and as you can see by my, um, I don't know if these are okay. Raid tokens are called raid tokens. Um, I have not been doing raids too much. Like, like I don't really, I'm not really into raid. Raid. They also added the uh, where uh, sword that I mentioned, which is from Sword Art Online. So. Basically, I'm probably just gonna do this raid real quick. Then we can hop into the sword dimension, etc. Also, um, I have gotten quite a lot of cards from them because I've been doing it quite a lot. And as you can see, I haven't gotten Zoro yet. If these ones can just load, I haven't gotten Zoro yet. Um, and I do not want to buy him. Cause I've really been thinking about the way I just waste my money buying lots of characters when I can just get them from the dimension. So, and I actually could have had quite a lot of other 1600 gem, gem units cause right now I only have Rimuru and Zenitsu. And it's basically because um, I waste my money buying them instead of grinding for them. And also... I buy costumes and I stopped using costumes so it was pretty much a waste. Also if you noticed from the last video after I maxed out Rengoku, he like sucked up all my money like Jesus Christ. I thought it was only gonna take like a few like maybe 100k or something and like just grind it back but it took 500k. But no worries, um, I just spent like most of my life grinding sword dimension and I have 1 million again. So, um, see you after this raid. And I did not get anything good. Just a bunch of raid tokens. Alright guys, um, by the way, um, it's raining quite a lot right now, so can't hear me, I apologize. Um, while I'm editing, I'll do my best to make to allow you to hear me. Okay, so now, um, let me just try and sum up this whole update real quick before we get into the dungeons. First, um, they changed the names of and and make the and made dimensions similar. Um, that's really weird. Um, I don't see the difference. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. Um, now there's a Guess for logging in, they changed the the daily quest. Guess for logging in, and they also reduced it to twenty five. Um, so we have clear raid once. Um, that's what I just did, and we and these three they've been here for a long time now. Now next thing, um, in characters shop, we have Yuji bro. That's Yuji from. Um, so they are online. Then we have Toro, that's Zoro from um, One Piece. Okay, um, we also have a few new characters in the raid. It's only one, but um, that's Naruto saying the six pets I already showed you, and yeah, he's right here. So, I'm not too sure if I should just hop into the raid. The dungeon right now or if I should just go a character testing case and show you all the new characters well okay if you want to watch the character showcase then 
that will be at the end of the video you can go watch that and but if you just want to if you just want to watch me do the run in the sword dimension the new sword dimension and just give you tips and tricks to do it faster then just keep watching no need to skip but if you want to watch the show character showcase right now and watch the dimensions there then you can skip over to the end I'll put like a timestamp in the description or something okay so play join play create then yeah, so I mentioned create I don't know how how I have not gotten him I've not gotten Zoro yet um, but I got this dude um, okay that makes sense it's a six percent chance and he's 3.5 but I still don't know why I haven't gotten him okay, so create and start now this dungeon it looks really really cool but um in terms of being able to move around in it well it can cause you quite a few problems like based on like what to do like how you should go to it like how you should go about it like this is what i'm saying it looks really really cool like so okay so what you want to do is basically just um walk run whatever dash then come up here dash again and when you have all of them like this flare black lightning and gluttony so you got all of them so you got all of them there in the first hallway now this one um as you can see there is one room here and another room here so you're actually gonna have to deal with those so you just come in here and make it do it should kill all of them if i am correct or should leave them okay put all of them now as you can see they're spawning there and they are spawning here so um obviously you want to um go here first then you can go there because if you go here and then you don't have to come back and then go there again it's just gonna take up a lot more time if you understand also um as you can see from my time over here it's you get 12 minutes to start off with um i'm gonna show a replay and like point that out like as soon as i join um yeah you have 12 minutes because this dungeon is a Oh, I want to start starting, but this dungeon is a little bit hard. Um, so you have 12 minutes. The game gave you some extra time. So now that you're done with that room, you want to come over to this room, and then you basically just want to kill all of them as usual. Just from here, dash, and then flare, back lightning, good. Okay. So now you just want to go over to that one, and then you have the first boss. To if you want to know the attack patterns, yeah. It's like that one line second line and then you see those circles just spawns a lot of circles i'm really like yeah i think it's because of the rain then one line two line okay then he does with comes with a gun comes with a gun does that then one line two line and yeah so that's pretty much the boss's whole pattern um then like spam circles again one line second line and then you can just pretty much kill him. It's a lot easier to dodge when I press the tilde key by mistake. It's a lot easier to dodge and it really makes it quite a lot easier. So I'm just speed this up real quick um, so that um, this video doesn't end up being too long. And see you once I have killed the reaper.
all right guys and we have just killed the reaper and now this is really really cool the way um everything just turns red okay so now you just finished the sword arc online part and i think this was also ggo gun gale online um so now you're gonna get into season four and five that's isolation and um the war i i can't remember what it's called stop that gun gale online um don't really know plan on watching it later but um haven't watched it yet so you just want to run through oh shit um Oh, uh, Megado! Oh, my Megado was on cooldown. Okay, so now that you are here, I think. Okay, so these red dudes, um, their their attacks are like in these like three lines, like the gun, yeah, those three lines. And like, if you get sworn by like all these red dudes, it's yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you can see my point. So I think I'm just using my assists here. But once that magical thing is gone, you fight the Liberator. Um, this is the final boss in the in the dungeon, and it's basically just lines on um, diagonal lines. It's really hard to dodge. See that? Um, yeah. All right, and there you have it. And Liberator is dead with two more minutes. So I probably could have done that without the twelve minutes that they gave us. Or whatever, I still did not get Zoro. Oh god, it's so annoying. In the fetus, you should have like 4.2 million damage. And it brought me to the high level level. Well, I almost forgot about this when I was talking about the update. Um, yeah, they just added a high level lobby where um, you need to be level 40 plus before you can enter this lobby. There really is no difference between this lobby and the other lobby. Just that this one is for higher level players. Um, I don't know why they made it, it makes no difference. But now we're gonna hop into the character testing place and show, and I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the new characters, just a little showcase of them. Um, as promised earlier. Oh, damn, that thunder just hit some thunder. Or some lightning. Um, I'm pretty sure thunder is the sound and lightning is the actual thing. The actual like, um, the actual like. Yeah, that. That's pretty sure that's the lightning. Okay, Nardo six pats. Oh, he looking kind of clean. I like these animations. I like these animations. Hmm. Really liking these animations. Okay, so these animations are looking pretty clean. Run animations too. The attack animations, yeah. I think you could see Naruto is like a dual wielding kind of character, dual wielding sword carrying character. So okay, so we had chill beast bomb. Oh. Oh, oh, what was that? Okay, maybe, maybe just. Oh yeah, there were there were some things there because. Um, I think maybe I'm lagging quite a bit. Okay, so now we have Till Beast Bomb. That is a pretty good move. Um, let me check out the range on that. And does it go to where your mouse is? Okay, it just goes in front of you. Um, not too sure about the range, but let's do Till Beast Rasen. Till Beast Shuriken. Um, this should probably be a longer move. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That actually looks pretty nice. Um, next we have. We we John combo wait let me test out and draw this. Oh, okay then hit we John combo Okay so that's basically um Zenitsu's um maybe his second or his la last move but better with a wider range and probably more damage. Yeah that's a lot bigger than Zenitsu's own. Okay, so now I have Planetary Rasa and Shuriken for Naruto. Okay. Oh, they added Kurama. Um, they got all the nine tails there. Okay, so we have an iframe, obviously, since it's an ulti, and the range is pretty well, like, so. Yeah, um, Naruto is a very good character, and for the fact that it doesn't cost gems, or, and he, okay, that's super. And he doesn't cost, um, 
but the fact that it does not cost gems and doesn't cost robux then um, he's a pretty good character um that's very good so next we have yuji bro okay um he has the sheath or the sheath or whatever it's called and the blue rose sword pretty sure that's the name please don't roast me in the comments okay so we have sonic lee so that's a dash move from like flash carolina smash you know how it is so we have sonic leap that goes that takes you pretty pretty far okay so next we have ice spikes that's basically just a bunch of ice spikes in front of you now i don't know if like ice spikes are about actually supposed to come out because i'm lagging so we have ice spikes yeah um few ice spikes come out so that's it is a pretty good move. Then we have Enhance Armament. Okay, this is an iframe when you're casting it. And yeah, that's some pretty good AoE. And now we have Blue Rose. Okay, that's an iframe also, of course. Okay, that range is pretty good. So, and it doesn't do too much KB. So, your opponents can pretty much still stay inside the. He doesn't seem like the characters to do that much KB. Because they're not too far from their spawn circles. So, um, when you use some of his moves, your opponents can still stay in his range. If you understand what I'm saying. Because they get out of the range, then it's not going to be too good. You're just wasting your time with that AoE. And that I think. Okay, so we have Zoro Santoriu. Um, I'm only seeing two swords. See, three seats. Okay, so this is the third sword. Okay, so we have 720 pound. Okay, so that was just like um double gets get central. Um but you actually don't move forward from that, but okay. Okay, that's a pretty good move. There's quite a lot of knockback and the range is also very good. Now we have Tatsumaki. That is that oh okay, okay, okay. That Tatsumaki is a very good move. Um, that is a dash, and anything that get hits in it, they pretty much just like get combo after. So, if you're trying to grind your um, highest combos or something, um, for some reason, then yeah, um, you can do this. So we have one thousand and eighty pounds. That's probably like gonna be an upgraded version of this. So okay oh oh okay so i think the way that move works is basically like when you do the spinny thing twirly twirly ballet um anything that got hit by it they just start getting slashed around um, i think i think i can test it out on these these guys please get them the twirly, twirly. okay so it's just in front of you um, it didn't actually get them okay so now we have per get per Purgatory Onigiri. Okay. Oh, I can see. Okay. And that's an iframe, obviously. Okay, so I think it's basically just a bunch of sword slashes and um a lot of damage, obviously. So um from what I'm seeing, I think Zenitsu is a very good character. And in terms of the way you can use his moves. Um, I, I'd say Zenitsu is better than, I'd say Zoro, I keep saying Zenitsu, um, is better than Sukuna, and he's better than all the 600 gem units, based on the way his moves are, and how, how he can use them, um, unfortunately I don't have him because my RNG sucks, um, but all the new characters that were added to the game, Naruto six packs, Yuji Bro, Yuji -Oh, and we have Zoro. All these characters are really really good, and you also have animations for the dual ruling characters. But one thing I don't I don't like is that um this third sword isn't on the mouth. Why? I feel that maybe it's one of his moves has the third sword. Okay, no 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 third sword. Hey, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. 
You see that? The, the white one, the third soul was on his mouth. Please, um, please don't lose me. I don't watch One Piece. I don't know what their names are called. Um, but, um, it's really, really good in general. Um, all the moves, the way you can use them, they're obviously going to be very, very good for dungeons. So, all these new characters, in my opinion, they're really, really good. And Zoro is also very good. Zoro and Naruto six pets. For Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't really know too much. I don't think I don't think it's worth buying Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think it's worth it to get Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not really the best 1600 gem unit, and if you can get things that are cheaper or things that don't cost gems, then I think it's gonna be more worth it for you. Okay, games of the Empire. See you in the next video.